Welcome to my mini project series folks. In the previous video we saw the client who wanted to move 300 terabytes of data to the cloud and we saw the broad level requirements and we came up to the point what tools we exactly used to do this kind of migration or what tool Amazon offers to perform this kind of migration. The first tool that Amazon offers to do a petabyte scale migration is or terabyte scale migration is Snowball. What you can do is you can go ahead and request a Snowball job and Amazon ships you a suitcase full of disks and compute power. You hook it up to your data center, copy the data and send it back to Amazon and they will extract all the data and store it into your S3 bucket. So they are not going to look at the data. They're just going to dump the data from your Snowball disks and they are going to dump it into the S3 bucket. And if you want, you can encrypt it with your own key and the data will travel with encrypted format and nobody can see it. Even Amazon cannot see that unless you provide them with a master key. So that it is a completely secure way of moving the data from one place to another place, especially if you have a lot of data in uh, storage that needs to be moved. So that is one option that we have. The next option is S3 acceleration, which uses a simple uh, S3 GUI, you go ahead and enable S3 acceleration in the property section and then you get a 25 percentage jump to 75 percentage jump in the upload speed that you can achieve by doing this. But this also means that uh, your data is uh, in a format that allows S3 acceleration to push all the data through your pipe. That means that if your VPN or your internet bandwidth should be also sufficient to push as much data as possible. So that is one advantage that we might have in this client. But let us see what other tools the client uh, is Amazon offers. The Kinesis Firehose is another service. If the data is all streamable or if the incoming data is from say for example a mobile device or a gaming device or an IoT device, you can configure Kinesis Firehose on one end and store all the data in S3 and push the data from the source to the destination. So there is another way of moving the data. So the, the other interesting service that Amazon offers is Storage Gateway. It's one of the most easiest things in my opinion to do it. All you have to do is set up a VPN on your client side or your on-premise data center and you can allow this v, uh, simple VM to clone the data from your on-premise data center storage to the Amazon S3 or EBS or EF, EFS volumes. So this way all you have to do is just provision the VM, provision the bandwidth and all the data gets replicated to the cloud. So that is another option you get. Then you have third party experts who are specializing in data migration from on premise to the cloud. So you can contract any of those vendors or subcontract them. They can help you with that. If that is not uh, going to suit you, then you can also go ahead with setting up a direct black sand. That is a direct connect. Amazon gives you from one gigabit, one Gbps to 10 Gbps connections and you can order multiple lines if you want and remember this will connect to a point to point so if you want to connect to multiple points then you need to order multiple direct connects to your data center so that is another option amazon offers and it's great for clients who are going to try uh, use the bandwidth on a continual basis if there is going to be a one time then that might not be the best option in your case the final thing is you set up an EC2 instance or any third party open source client on the cloud and set up a VPN between your corporate network and your AWS network and push all the data through the VPN client. This might not be the most efficient way, but this is definitely a sure shot way of getting things working in the easiest possible manner. So you get all these options to move data from your on premise to the AWS cloud. So go ahead and put in the comment section which you think would be the best tool in this scenario and we'll discuss them in the next video on what exactly which solution we chose and why did we chose them. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.